Hello everyone. Today is going to be different makeup look. This has been something that a look that I've been wanting to do but also not wanting to do. And also I think it would give me a peace of mind. I would just like to say something real quick or ask you a question. Are you okay? Because guess what? It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to be frustrated and angry. It's okay to be happy and, and also generally, genuinely happy. It's okay to feel love. It's okay to fall in love. It's okay to feel heartbreak. It's okay to feel loved. And it's okay to feel emotion and not be numb. <sighs> so this necklace, I wear it most days. And it's literally my favorite thing in the world. And I would absolutely go nuts if I ever lost it. Because it was, and I'm going to tell you why this means so much to me. It's because it was a Christmas gift. One day my one December, my family was asking, oh, what they want for Christmas. And I said, well, I would like a new necklace because my broke. And I loved it, and it was a heart necklace. My mother, Christmas morning, I opened a small gift. small box and inside what's this now all the all the pretty rhinestones have fallen out but that d doesn't matter what matters is the actual it's actually engraved Now what this says is, love grows when two hearts meet. And maybe asking yourself, am I a hopeless romantic? In a way, I am. In a way, I would like someone someday to love me as me. And that's all I ever wanted in life. That's all I want in life, is what I want for all of you. Whether it's friendship, whether it's partnership, a significant other, I want all of you to feel loved. Because a heart, and a heart grows. Love grows when two hearts meet. And that's exactly what happens each time. Now, yes, some relationships or friendships don't always stay. They don't always work. But what do we do with those experiences? We learn from them. We learn from them and we grow from them. The heart wants what the heart wants and the head our head will always have something else to say. But it's up to you to choose who you want to listen to. Now, I'm not trying to be sad. I'm not trying to be anything but real. This is a video that, that I have been tossing and turning because I don't know 
who would like it or who will find it offensive. Now, the world's different from when it was. Some of us are more sensitive than others, and me, myself included. I am actually not as, um, this song, I decided, like usual, I usually just do my face. Today, I'm going to do everything. Now, this song is called version of me and I'll put it in the description box and it's actually a really wonderful song it's I guess you can say it's kind of sad but it also rings true a little bit so we as people we have layers And when we go to places, most only see the first, the first layer. They don't always see what's underneath the first. Now, some people will stay in your life and recognize there's more to you than just the first one. And that is beautiful and wonderful and everything. But some people are not going to see but the first layer. So this look is for all the people who need to look deeper. And we just need some love and kindness in this world. And guess what? There is no price point for being nice to someone or kind to someone or say a compliment to someone, whether they take it or not. Now the girl you guys see today, see in videos today, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, my Instagram, or any social media. This girl you see in front of you took a lot to build. It took a lot to build this person you see. Now I'm not saying we we don't go through the through shit. We all go through shit. We all go through stuff. We all have to conquer challenges and obstacles that appear to be in our way for some reason. And that's just, that's just life. You're going to have, you're going to have to fight for what you want. And I know that you want it. I know that you want whatever motivates, whatever goals, whatever you want is right in hand's reach. But you need to face challenges first. Unfortunately, that is how life is, but it's what you're dealt with and how you handle it is what gets you there, what pushes you further. Now, I can sit here and say whatever the heck I want and motivate you with words, with quotes, with everything that I have in my power to boost you. And trust me, I'm going to and I want to. But the thing is, I, my words, or actions, or whatever, can only push you so far. Could only motivate you so far. It's you who can get you further than I can. But I'm here to help you. I'm here as a boost. But it's your decisions. It's your decision in the end. No matter what I can say or what others say, it's your say that has the final word. This is your life. This is your storybook. You are the main character. 
So take, take control of that power and use it for good. Now I'm not saying use it for good. Use it for you. Now a lot of us, me included, we keep things private. And that's just how we operate. Some things we share, some things we don't. And that's okay. That's normal. That's always very normal. Now, a long time ago, I was the positive girl. I was the positive I was the always the positive one. In my friend group that I had. I had two friend groups by the way. One that I hung out with a lot and knew for years. But also I had another friend group that was more nerdy and more that I can just join in and be me. Now I can be me with everyone, especially in these two groups. And, but one, I could be more myself than the other. When we're young, we make stupid decisions. We're young, dumb, and stupid, and we make mistakes in different categories, whether we like to admit it or not. And that's just how it goes. We make mistakes. We make mistakes because we're human. We're not robots. We're not made of steel. We're made of human. We have a heart. Everyone has a heart and everyone has a soul. Not that people want to um, agree to it or say anything because they're afraid. Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. Now when I was younger I was afraid of losing people. I was afraid that I was going to lose people. And in reality, I grew, I started to realize that that I can't keep everyone. No matter how hard I try, and I tried hard to keep everyone on the same level, but that's not realistic. People have different motivations, they have different goals, not everyone's the same. But like I said, I was the happy one. I was the positive one. And every day I go in, try to be my best, try and be my positive, and I would have friends who would just say, on the daily, just being negative, saying, I don't want to be here, this sucks, why are we doing this, why are we doing that, blah, 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 blah. Now, when you're trying to be the only positive one, it doesn't always work. It gets to you, and it becomes baggage.
and everyone has the right to feel emotion. Every single one of us has the right to feel what we want to feel in a moment. No matter what it is. I... It's... It's not always easy to be bullied. I know that from experience. High school sucks. I had some good parts and I had some bad parts. And now and then, they would outweigh each other. But I got better. I started to learn my standards. Or starting to have some. And little did I know, I was bullied for every little thing or picked at. Now it's not fun to be bullied, but what you need to know is don't give the person bullying you the satisfaction of attention because that is what they all desire. People who are mean to us, whether that be a job, school, personal life, whatever it may be, annoyingly, someone is always going to be there to get, to get down on you, to tell you you're not worth it, to tell you you can't do it. I'm here to tell you you can and you are enough. You are enough. And you know what they, why they bully you? You want to answer why they pick on you? Answer is, they're jealous. They're jealous that they can't have, that they don't have the motivation you do. That they have the work ethic you do. And, and more likely than most of us, they're going through something else and they're taking their anger and frustration on you. So when you're being bullied, what I want you guys to do is to feel sorry for them because everybody has something going on behind closed doors. Everyone's different. Everyone has a different home life and everything else. But it's you who's in charge of your actions and your emotions. So what I want you guys to experiment with or try to is to try and put yourself in that person's shoes. Not directly, but, you know, just keep an open mind because not everybody goes through, everybody, let me say this a minute, everybody goes through the same stuff, especially high school. High school, everyone is nervous, everyone is scared. Everyone has that same fear because they don't know. We, um, we fear the unknown most of all. And it's hard to keep an open mind in that way. But we, we got this. We have to, or at least try. That's what I have always done my whole life, is if I don't know... A situation I will listen to one person's story and then I will listen to another person's story of their half of the story and then I will say something of what I think needs to be said or whatever 
That's just how I operate. We're all different. I'm more into problem solving than anything else. I've been attracted to mystery and scary stuff my whole life. I love Halloween. Halloween's my bitch, and I love it. But also, I was a nerd, and I read um, <laughs> scary books, scary novels. I've always been attracted to that. Now, <sighs> what I want to say is that, again, I was never this confident. I was never confident. I was confident as a child, like we all were. We were fearless, we were confident, we had everything at our feet, and we still do. We still have everything that we want at our feet. We just have to take chances to grab it, to grab each thing. Life is just, if you look, like to think of it this way, life is just one big puzzle. And some of the pieces are not going to fit in their spot right away. Or a Rubik's Cube, it's not going to fit the way you want it to. At first, it's going to take a couple tries to get what you want right. Now, I said I had no confidence. And I had a bully. My bully was more my inner circle than a stranger. And I dealt with it. I've admitted to myself that my mind was fucked up. And it was. My mind was fucked and I didn't know who I was anymore. And I also, I turned off my emotions. I went numb, completely numb. Didn't want to feel anything because I felt so hurt. Now, on the journey back to getting my confidence was a struggle, not gonna lie going to struggle and then struggle and struggle. Things are going to get worse before they get better. That's just how it goes. I've cried many tears. Like I'm sure some of us has from time to time. And that's, that's a piece of it. That sucks. But yeah, my bully was more in her circle than a stranger. And if she were a stranger, it would have been so easy. But it wasn't. And the, the day... And the day that I stood up for myself, for the first time, I never felt better. I never felt so sure of something. I'm just going to coat my face. We're doing something different on this side. I'm just going to cover it all. Because I have to anyway. 
life wasn't meant to run perfect. And I just read, the reason why I bring up this now is that I've been thinking, I've had it on my mind from time to time being in quarantine. And let me say to everyone here is it's okay to be in your head for a little bit. But if you're in there too long, you'll lose yourself. So please, please during this time, find an app, find someone to talk to, FaceTime, or anything else that is out there. Please talk to somebody. And don't spend in your head all day. Get busy. Do your do a project you've been putting off. Film a TikTok. Film a video. Film a YouTube video. Go out with your friends. Wearing a mask. If you can. I don't know what the rules are in other states. Do what you want to do. Don't worry so much in here. And you know what I do sometimes? That I've learned about myself that I need to constantly improve on is when I say wise advice, like I'm giving you right now, I need to take my own advice. Because sometimes, I'm sure all of us do this at some point, or if you're like me, you do it sometimes. We say things but then we don't listen to the same thing we're saying. So, please don't spend a lot of time in here because what you're gonna get is scenarios and things talking to you that you shouldn't even be worried about, okay? Now I know there's some of us with depression anxiety, and anything else that this world wants to challenge us with. But we can do this. We can work through it. Now, yes, we've experienced them. It's a piece of us. It's what we were dealt when God gave us our deck of cards, sort, sorted out our de the deck of cards. He just gave us some cards that are harder than others and some that are easy. It's mixed up and we need to take take them with a stride. Now some of us may need to crawl and then stand and then learn to walk and then eventually run. And that's okay. Whatever you're doing Whatever you're doing or tr what challenge you're trying to face or a decision to make, trust yourself. I mean, you, you can have anybody's opinion, anybody's advice, take anybody's advice and listen to each and every single individual. Whatever you're trying to make a decision about or take a chance on. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly normal. But take into consideration that it's you making the final decision. Because you are the main character of your own story. They're just, they're just side characters. But if you want to keep them in a general group, that's fine. That is up to you. You are the writer. You are the main character. You have the settings. You have everything at your hands. Now you just have to make what needs to get done. And sometimes it's hard, especially. Especially when you're in your adolescence, which is your teenage years. It's hard because you're new. You're like 
feeling things, you're feeling nervous, you're feeling scared, you're, you're getting feelings. It's a lot. And when you catch feelings, it's hard to let go. And I know that from experience because when I was in high school, I had a cliche crush, <laughs> if you can say, cliche crush on this guy, and I really liked him. But also, at the same time, I was still working on getting my confidence back my bravery back and myself back at the same time but I also caught feelings now I was emotionally attached emotionally attached because one I really liked him but two I was also working on myself and he was he was a light or a string or a ladder that I can hold I could hold on to for for a couple minutes until I was okay to let go. Now unfortunately I made decisions, he made decisions. Things were done, things were made, and things didn't work out in the end. So he pulled his ladder away before I decided to let go and I cried I cried over this guy but do I have feelings for him anymore no will I have them again probably not because personally with me it's hard for me to catch feelings for someone that's just how it is now I am different than I was back then so maybe it's easier for me I don't know I just know what I'm attracted to and that's just how it's going and I'm not I'm not mad or anything I've let that go I let that go because if I held on to stuff like that, it will torture me inside. And trust me, you need to let go of some things to feel to be yourself because once you let that go, I promise you, you're going to feel that lift off your soul shoulders and it's going to feel good. And I know I'm still on foundation, but we all do different things. We all make decisions and that's life. So I haven't thought about him since he's doing his thing. I'm doing mine. I'm being myself and I love myself. I'm still learning to love myself because what I've realized, and also, like, I've learned from that. Even though we didn't fully become and were able to actually have a relationship between us personally, I still cried from it. I still got feelings broken, and that's just how it goes. But I've learned from it. And I'm growing and I grew from it and I've learned to let him lives live his life and I will live mine happily and I am most of the time again we all have emotions we're not being happy all the time is not realistic and that's what I've learned from being the only positive one because if you're positive all the time in a group that's negative all the time it's just gonna build 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 up and you're not gonna have any more room baggage and yeah and 
here's the thing. When we're younger, we're like friends forever. And that's fine. But what I need you to keep in mind is some friends, some friends are here forever. And some friends are here for the season. And eventually you will be able to see which ones are in your corner and which ones are not. And I figured that and I figured that out. I also became the middleman at one point. And that was not nice because I was left to make a decision to go with this friend or this friend and it wasn't nice because they forced me to make a decision I didn't want to make and it was hard. And There were some things where like, if you want, when I say my head was fucked up, I was fucked up. My brain, they played with it a lot. They played with it like a bowl, like a ball of clay, reshaping it, saying shit. They molded it to what they wanted me to believe. And I let them. And I learned from it. I've learned and I've grown and I know better. Now are you get are you gonna get all this sense right away? No. Have fun. But also be careful. Because it's yours. It's nobody else's. It's yours. And they're going to be jealous of you. Of your achievements. Of what you're trying to achieve. Your goals. Your motives. Your motivation toward them. Toward that goal. Yeah, they're going to be jealous of you. Because you're doing what you're, you're doing. And let me say this too, love, clothes, love, passion, confidence, and creativity do not come with the size chart. So those of you who think that there is one, sorry to burst. Actually, you know what? I'm not sorry. I just burst your bubble because that is not reality. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is Barbie. It doesn't matter if you look like Barbie. Some people have good... Some people may be skinny, may be the hottest people that you have ever seen in your life. So let's, let's visualize this. Let's say you're walking down the beach, you're feeling cute, cute as hell. You just strutting and you see this gorgeous guy or gal, whoever, you're just like 
jaw drops. You're just like, damn. So you get the courage to go up to them, say hey, or whatever it is you want to say. They could be, and they don't pay you no mind. They just throw you off your shoulder like you don't matter. Basically, what I'm getting at is, they can be the most gorgeous human being that you have ever seen, and you want them. But at the same that same damn time, they could have the most shittiest personality. It's not all about looks. Let's 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 pause the button and just say this. Personality matters. Personality lasts longer than looks ever will. So if you're dating someone for just the looks, sweet honey Jesus, I hope you will. I hope you will learn or understand that that is not the only thing that matters. In a person there is personality that person has morals that person has standards standards and they deserve all your love and attention now they don't need it all the time all the time and what I mean by that Girls, we need our space, we need our alone time sometimes, and also girls, just to say this, because I feel like some of us don't understand, is that there, there's girls that, but you need to give your boy some boy time. They need to hang out with the boys. You don't need to be with him all the goddamn time. He needs space to to be with his boys, his guys, hang out, talk about sports, do whatever they want to do. Now I know you're going to have scenarios about another woman. Don't let that scenario play you. Now if it's your gut, listen to your gut. Listen to your gut, but your head, don't always fall for the scenario in your head, because that's going to play mind tricks. They're going to get home, they're going to be like, hey baby, I don't know why I got an accent all of a sudden, they're going to say, hey baby. How you doing? How was your day? And then you just straight up look mad and you yell at them just because of something in your brain made you worry about for no reason to give you anxiety for no reason? No. Listen to your gut and if your gut's telling you something, something's up. Guys, let me give you a straight answer here. We women have alarm bells. We have intuition. And sometimes it's good. And sometimes it's, and sometimes it's just in our heads. So keep that in mind. Also, ladies, ladies, while we're on the subject, listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. You're a man can have friends that are girls. He can have friends that are girls. Do you understand? Now if there's one in particular that you don't trust, talk to him about it. Don't just straight up think that he's cheating with her. Sometimes that ain't the case. 
Now I know a lot of you are going to have more experience in that area or trauma from other relationships or friendships that you may have had where this has happened. But clear your mind. Be, give him give him some trust to work with. Even though it's not a lot, just give it bit by bit and talk to him first. Don't automatically assume because the assumptions is what's created in here that can fool you. And I know sometimes I sound like I'm the love doctor. <sighs> I'm just a person trying to trying to give you some advice and calm your anxiety. That's all I'm here for. I'm here for emotional support. And I got a freaking accent. Let me... Also, I just... I have a theater class that I'm so excited to start. But we had to read this book. This book is called... Well, it's a play. It's called August... It's by August Wilson, and it's called Fences. Please give that a read, because the advice that I've got, one, it's such a good story. Two, the saying in there feels so true, and it's, you got to take the straights with the crookeds. What'd that mean? That means you're walking down the road, you gotta take your straight with your crooked. Life's not all about a straight line. There's gonna be some straights, there are gonna be some crook turns, there are gonna be some loop-de-loops maybe. We're all different, we're all going through something different. But you are brave enough. He would not have dealt to you the hand you were dealt if you could not handle it. So keep that in mind. He wouldn't have given you what you could not handle. What you could not do. Because you are strong. You are strong. And confident. And fucking beautiful in every single way. With your curves, with your stretch marks, with your beauty marks. Hell, let me show you something real quick. I know you can't see, because this is horrible lighting. I have, well you can see this. I have beauty my marks all over my arms. And sadly, it's a bit annoying that one of the people I would hang out in high school with, we were friends. She didn't notice that about me. One day, they did, and their voice got lower. They were like, oh, you have so many beauty marks. Oh, and started looking over me, making me feel unconscious. Now, I don't give a shit about that anymore. But... It worked and made me feel unconscious, um, like insecurity, thank you, that I didn't need. But with those kind of people, you just need to shove them off like a piece of dust on your shoulder. Just be like... But that's what this song is all about. Basically the lines are, can you, can you love this version of me that's not happy all the time? Like that's a, that's an actual line. Be all the time and it goes on. 
it's a really good song and it speaks truth because you deserve somebody who loves you completely with your quirks with your weirdness with everything you are you deserve that now I'm gonna be honest with you this is honestly honesty picky promise Cross my heart, hope to die. Yesterday, um, or now and then, now and then, but yesterday also, I thought, did I? <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember what I thought. Now and then, I. Anyway, now and then, I think to myself, I don't deserve, I don't deserve to be happy, I don't deserve to be loved, I don't deserve to have someone love me. And that's doubt. And sadness. I mean, that's sad. But that's true. I think that now and then. Yes. It's annoying, but we are human. We are human. And sometimes those thoughts creep into our little head. But the difference is, are you going to listen to it? Or are you going to just be like, yeah. Because what am I doing right now? I'm owning one of my thoughts. I'm owning it. I'm saying it, but am I going to think think it again? It's a possibility because I doubt. We all do. We all have doubts. And that's normal. It's okay. Again, it's okay to feel not okay. It's normal. Feel emotion. Please, please feel emotion. Because when I felt numb... For a long time and then when I actually got to feel feelings again like my emotions turned back on again oh lord it felt weird but I have my emotions now and I'm gonna keep them Now I know some of us are just here for the makeup and some of us are just here for my TED Talks. So I think I'm going to hit the pause button on our TED Talk. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. Boop. Paused. Pause. Now let's get talking. This is a half face look. Not that anybody is surprised. Hello, if you paused me for any reason, welcome back. How was your whatever you were doing, whether it was a snack or whatever it was? Hello, welcome back. I just put the pause button on our TED talk a minute. Whether we go back to it or not, I don't know. We just hit pause or the stop button. And we're going to talk about what we're going to do on this here face. So what my idea with this face was, with this song, is to make half my face my face. And the other half be hidden with everything that I am or that I fear. Got it? <laughs> now, something that I've noticed or realized 
recently with YouTube is my copyrighted videos that have, you know, the copyrighted songs on them are blocked from different countries, countries, states. I don't remember, but I want everyone... I want everyone to enjoy my content, so there won't be a lot of music playing. Annoyingly so. Maybe I'll put in editing I'll put some music so you're so you guys are fine. But normally on a day to day basis or when I wanna wear makeup nowadays, I listen to music. It's just more fun. Okay, we got our basics done. Not everybody fits. Okay. So here we go. Look, I know I expose myself quite a bit on here, or I'm starting to anyway, but I am, like I said, I'm learning. I am learning to let people in slowly. Again, I was bullied by someone who was my friend for years, and they're not in my life anymore, and I'm the happiest I've ever been in life. And, yeah. That's, that's just how it goes sometimes. Okay. How are we going to go in here? This brown. That is dark. Hello, good sir. That's a brown if I ever saw one. Now, if any of you are curious why I wear brown on my blue eyes, it is because... There's a thing um, with, like, the color wheel or whatever I found a long time ago, and blue eyes pop more with brown, with the color brown. So there's, like, whatever your eye color is, there is an eyeshadow that will just make it pop, your eye color pop more than other colors. But again, it's eyeshadow and you can do whatever look you want with any color you want. Like I do blue on my blue eyes. Sometimes. I sound so country. I think this is all I'm going to need. I did, I did a hefty swipe. Tell you that. Maybe I, maybe I should have gone for the latter ones. Oh well. I'll just buff it.
Wow. That is brown if I ever saw a brown. I, I, I have a song in my head. Guys, I have a song in my head. <laughs> and it's a new artist I found. Um, her name is... Her name is Tony Mamoti. I don't really know how to do her say her last name. Her last name is R O M I T I. And I have her song OMG in my head. <laughs> OMG do 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 So that's me and my status right now. Cut the crease. Cut it good, cut it well, don't be. One brush is moving toward a dangerous route, and I don't like it. Also, if any of you are looking for um, any movie recommendations that you haven't seen yet or watched, watch K Kindergarten Cop with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Quick summary, he's a cop and he goes undercover as being a kindergarten teacher. That's all I'm going to say. Also, let me just add, because I saw this on TikTok, apparently people are doing, um, I saw one individual, she did a makeup look and she put help on her lips and anxiety and stuff like that. Be careful. 
definitely do that shit. It's not a trend. People really have that shit. So think before you do. Like I use blush, but I'm not, I don't like a vibrant pink. Sorry, I'm not that type of girl. I shall wear it. Also I got more mascara. I ran out and liquid eyeliner. Okay, I'm gonna do my liquid eyeliner off makeup and I shall return. Keep smiling. Keep your head up. Hola. And hello. Welcome back. Got the o eyeliner. That looks right, right? Yeah, yeah, we good. We good. one brush to go anywhere but there but 
scared. Scared of it. <laughs> Are you crying? Yes, yes, yes. Un momento. I'm going to use you guys a minute. Get some moisture up in this bitch. And if you're wondering, this is a sugar lip treatment that I use. And it is clear. And then it just keeps your lips moisturized. It's really good. I got it at Sephora. Sephora sells it and it's amazing. And tonight we are going to have our beautiful moment with Scorpio and pray. Is this is only going on? No. Well, with yes. And this is going only one side of my face. So let's pray. so weird because the other half isn't done. Yeah, my top lip may have been exaggerated a smidge, but I was being careful. Or tried to. It looks... When I do lipstick with like half faces, it looks strange. It's just like, oh, uh, hey.
I drew this, I'm just trying to understand it. I need to draw. I mean, I see what this looks like on paper, the idea, but it's like implementing it to, God dang it. I like these pants. I don't want a thing that's over here on them, but I fear that some of it may have already.
Should have grabbed something that I should have grabbed, but that's fine. We'll work with what we have. No. No. That ain't gonna fly. That ain't gonna fly with me. I'll be back. I'm back. And I got my gray. Grays that I need. Let's dust that with that. Still need a mirror Don't worry, I'm not becoming a sea creature.
should just go to all black. But the idea was to have this like black and then this gray side of me, but it's not working out. I have another idea.
Sorry, my dear. I did not like... See, this is what we show. This is what is underneath. Now, the way I drew this look was black underneath and then gray on top. But I don't have gray body paint. So it's all black. We are more. Now I have to add one more thing and then I can do my hair and stuff. Let's see. We're cracking. Ding ding ding. Oh, well. I want to do one more crack, but. I have one here by my lap. Here, I'll put an X. Now, I'm gonna go behind the scenes are behind the idea. Basically, the black is to represent the deep side of us, the side of us that we don't see or that we don't acknowledge often or show to people. And then we have You know what? Oh, I had it over here. Sorry, I wanted to fix my hair because, one, I just like it better this way. But yeah, this is the other side of us that we don't show often. And this is, so this is the version we don't show often to people. And this is the side that people see. If you're like me, you don't want to cry in front of people because that's literally what I did when I was younger. I thought crying meant weakness. That's not what crying is. Crying is let. Crying allows you to let your emotions out. It allows you to debrief, let some, let some out, whatever needs to be let out. Whether that's anger or situation that's stressing you out. Crying lets you relieve some of that pressure. Which is why we have this blood tear. I, I made a little one too. This blood tear. Because this girl. Because it's showing that it needs 
Someone needs to be heard. Someone needs to let out something. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for this look. I love it. I'm terrified of it in a way. But I love it also because of the symbolism it is. And also I put my necklace on. I'm probably going to take this off. But thank you for being you. Because we're all beautiful and we all have something we are dealing with on the inside that we don't share often. And that we should we should let our emotions out more. You should be allowed to feel, to express. That's all I'm here. That's all I'm here trying to do with this look is to promote. Mental health is the most important thing you can have. Yes, physical health is important too. But this, if you don't have this, how can you improve this? That's my question to you. I love all of you dearly. I want to hug. I wish I can hug you all right now. I love all of you so, so much. So dearly much. And you are saints. You are literally angels. Every one of you. That girl that you were yesterday, don't matter. It's who you become when you wake up in the morning that matters. Be yourself. Someone will love you for you. But yeah, the details, we just blood tear. We have some cracks because this side is be is like, I'm dying to get out, I'm dying to get out. And this is what you see most of the time. I love every single one of you so much. You are enough. You're enough, and I mean that. God, I love every single one of you. Even though I don't know you, and you don't know me, really. But I love you. If someone haven't told you these things today, well, let me be the first to tell you. You are beautiful. You are enough. You are goofy, silly, you're smart, you're going to have a good day, and that's on you, to make it a good or bad day. Yes, different things can influence your day, but don't let them, don't let those little don't let those little things bother you. Keep going. Keep trucking. Keep your head up. Because you're all beautiful. You're all gorgeous. We're all different in our own special way. We're all unique. Every single piece is unique for, for a reason. I love all of you so, so much. Have a great day. Have a great afternoon. Have a great night. Whatever you are doing, whatever you're watching, whatever it is you're doing, you're amazing. You're absolutely gorgeous. You're going to have a good day. I love all of you. It's going to be a good day, and I shall see you.
I shall see you later. I know I ended the video. I just wanted to say one more thing. It's okay. It's okay to crack. It's okay to crack sometimes. Just make sure it doesn't overflow. Meaning, take your crickets with your straights. Take your hand and deal. Take, take on the challenge. Fear is only going to control us as long as we let it. Hope a bit more. Hug someone a bit tighter and tell someone you love them. Life is, life is too short. Okay. Love you.